Uh, fixed wing capabilities that you can see that can fly backwards. How, how much lift comes from that wing that we see out there? A lot of lift uh, really? comes from the wing. Okay. But need a spirit vehicle yeah, yeah. for your squadron down there. Wow, look at that. So right about, about now they're transitioning to forward flight, so then they make sure their gear is up, that the lights on the gear indicate up, the door is closed, and the call is ready to go fast. So it's a very simple call. I like that, ready to go fast. Yeah. Here we go, hold on, and away you go. I would have appreciated that morning this morning when we left the hotel. Yeah, I know, you spilled your coffee. You haven't, you haven't let me live that down, but uh, <laughs> that, that's just How the way it goes. How smooth a ride is that right now? Is it, do you feel a lot of vibration? It is definitely a little bouncy. You know you're in an Osprey. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you definitely know. It's a little bit smoother once you get into airplane mode like they are now. Um, but uh, once you're flying it like a helicopter, it wants to bounce around like a helicopter. Do you have in-flight movies or uh, beverage service, anything like that? No beverage service. With? We reserve that for the uh, C-130 guys. But, oh, I see. Uh, we're having a long see. transit. I have uh, been known to maybe rig a hammock in the back. Yeah, there you go. I what is it? Nice. What is this thing? Quite nice. What is this thing like to refuel in the air with those big propellers whipping around? That's a great question. It does have air-to-air -air, uh, capability. The uh, refuel probe will go about 12, 14 feet in front of the aircraft, but when you're behind another C-130 with those big rotor blades out right next to you, yeah. it's uh, it's very, very stressful. I could imagine that. would be like uh, trying to pick the, uh, the little walnut that you didn't mean to drop into the salad master. You know what I mean, Rick? Really? <laughs> Pretty dangerous to do that, but exactly. it's just a, it's, you know what you mean. It's just a it's a job that our Marine Corps uh, men and women do every single day of the week, uh, who operate these in far away places around the world where there are people that don't want them there, and uh, you guys do this job so professionally. We're glad that you are here uh, today to demonstrate it and to let us all come out and see this today. Uh -huh. Now, most of the folks that are here, as as you both know, are friends and family. We have uh, some miraculous military families that are here. Uh, today to see what mom and dad get to do uh, while they are at work. And believe me, if you don't know this already, I'm going to tell you right now, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps, how many jobs do you have? Because you're, you're a pilot, but then you also do something within the squadron. You have, a, you have a, an additional duty, don't you? What is your additional duty in the squadron? Yes, almost all of, actually all of us will have a Everyone duty. has Every single one of us. a so whole bunch of jobs. We, we were just up flying, we do have a ground job to, to That's right, and what, what is yours? What do you do? So I'm in operations, so I'm one of the guys that writes the schedule on daily. So we have about 14 aircraft and simulators, uh, about 20 pilots, all they need to continue to get training in various ways and various environments. So it's and uh, that equates to about 300 emails a day, <laughs> just about, multiple yeah. meetings, and uh, it, it, these these folks are just worn down to the core when they finally retire. It's an incredible job. We're so glad that you do it. Listen to the power as right now we've transitioned again from propellers to rotating wings and just lifting the weight of this thing and moving it forward. It's so complicated. A sophisticated system, isn't it? Listen to that, the power. Another very spectacular thing about this aircraft, you can see down by the parking lots for those folks when you leave, but this aircraft has the ability to go into a full stow. So the rotor blades will fold in towards the aircraft, the nacelles will come all the way down, and then the wing will rotate 90 degrees in line with the fuselage of the aircraft, making it 18 feet wide at that point. So now earlier you saw a short takeoff, same thing, we do have the ability to land rolling, like a, similar to a plane if we're ever power limited for whatever reason, and there's a uh, runway available to us. And again, all the rolling, the changing of the uh, nacelles, all done with your thumb. You're using your thumb, basically, to roll. That's correct, just as easy as the left thumb, yeah. Here's a, a vertical takeoff. It's about five degrees nose down, and right now with the left thumb, just twisting it forward, you're going to set it Right before he gets down to two feet, I don't think he's gonna land.
Well, we hope so. Because that was fun. The wind drift indicators are going to look like ribbons in the sky. Right over show center, the ribbons get dropped out the back door, and down they come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Rick Peterson and I are going to join you in watching the opening ceremony. We're just a few seconds away from the start of seeing the opening ceremony. The grand entrance of the third three air wing band. Moments away, they are the local San Diego Marine Corps band. I'm right here at Miramar. I was just with these folks in Charlotte, North Carolina, where they, they played for Marine Week here. And now they are back on their home turf. We're going to hear them, and that'll get us underway for the. This is a banner, which means that it can touch the ground. This is still will be treated with all of the love and care of a flag, but this is so big that it is considered a banner, which means it can't touch. So don't uh, be alarmed when you see this happening. They've already no that through. That's right. Any moment, we'll see the break. So there we go. Outstanding. The Golden Knight separates. And the ground is a great reflector of sound, so you can make all sorts of noise. They'll hear you loud and clear. Nice little exclamation point after all this mirror bar. Now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fine, do you want to go? 